In this video, we'll review the basic idea of slope of a line. So as you might remember, the slope of a line is really the same as the average rate of change that we studied earlier. So it's the difference between the y-coordinates, sometimes called the rise, divided by the difference between the x-coordinates, also called the run. And that fraction tells us something about the shape of the line. Um, the rise over the run, that ratio, gives us this thing that we call a slope. Now occasionally that slope ends up being undefined. As we see in the picture on the right, if the x-coordinates of the two points that we pick are the same, then the bottom of that fraction is going to be a zero, and as we know, we can't divide by zero. So if the slope turns out to be undefined, then that's a sure sign that our line is actually a vertical line. So that's the only kind of line that doesn't have a slope. Every other line has a slope number associated with it. If the line doesn't have a slope, that means it's a vertical line. And the slope is the same no matter which two points we pick. That's the nice thing about lines. If we pick two different points, let's say if I picked this point and this point, and computed my rise over my run, the rise and the run numbers themselves might be different, but the ratio of those two numbers would be the same no matter which two numbers I pick. And even if I get the order of the numbers backwards, if I were to compute, let's say, y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2, that's still going to be the slope. It's going to be the same number. As long as I'm consistent in making sure that these two values are from the same point and these two values are from the same point, the order doesn't matter here. So what does the slope tell us about what a line looks like? Well, we already know that if the slope is undefined, that means that our line is vertical. So if we have an undefined slope, our line is going to be some sort of vertical line. It's going to look something like that. If our slope is positive, then that means that as we go from left to right, our line goes up. So a line with positive slope is going to look something like this. So as we go from left to right, our y values are increasing. Now, there are different kinds of positive numbers, and the bigger that positive number is, the steeper my line is. So this is going to be a line with a small slope, and this is going to be a line with a big slope. So the bigger the slope is, the steeper the line is. If I end up with a negative slope, that means that as I go from left to right, my line is going down. So a line with a negative slope is going to look something like this. And again, there are lots of different kinds of negative numbers. If I had a big negative number, so a number that's far away from zero, so this would be a big negative number. So I'm thinking of numbers like negative 10, negative 100, negative 1,000, something like that. Big negative numbers are going to give me steep lines. A small negative number, a number that's close to zero, that's going to give me a not-so-steep line. So there I'm thinking of numbers like negative 0.1, negative 1 half. Those sorts of things will give me very shallowly sloped lines. So the thing that you want to look at when you look at the slope, if you want to try to understand the shape of the line, is that if you want to know if the slope is positive or negative, and you want to know if the slope is small or big. That's going to tell you the general shape of the line. Now what if the line has a slope of zero? Well, if we have a zero slope, if that fraction that we work out, the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, if that turns out to be the number zero, then what we have is a horizontal line. So that's what we get when we have a slope of zero.